is Nora Candido. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist here at Core Perform. A little bit about me, my background is specializing in treating individuals with eating disorders and disordered eating patterns, also serving individuals with GI health issues as well as hormone health. I'm really excited to bring my expertise here to Core Perform and share a little bit more with you today about a system called Exchanges. So this is an alternative method to tracking food and intake that is a little bit different than just tracking macronutrients or calories, for example. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more about this system. So who is it for? Truly anyone. This was originally designed for diabetics, actually, because this system takes into consideration how many grams of carbohydrates are in each source of food. They used this to dose their insulin appropriately, so that's where this system originated from. But now it's been used in the athlete population, and again, for individuals with eating disorders. But it's truly a good fit for anyone who's looking to achieve their physique goals without becoming obsessive or having to carry a scale around or tracking everything in an app. So the system, what I really like about it is that it includes diversity. So instead of just tracking macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, it's breaking things down into looking at fats, proteins, starches, fruits and vegetables, and dairy as well. Now here I've just listed a couple of examples and their equivalents of how many grams of carbohydrate are in each source. So our fruits, one serving or one exchange being 15 grams of carbohydrate, same with the starches, our non-starchy vegetables are a little bit lower, five grams of carb per exchange. Fats, one exchange is five grams, and protein, one exchange is seven grams. So here's a little bit of a deeper look. For our starches, looking at this right-hand column is showing you what one exchange or 15 grams of carbohydrates are equivalent to. So looking at that bagel, for example, a quarter would be equivalent to 15 grams. So if you were to eat a whole bagel, you would simply multiply that number by four. So it would be equivalent to 60 grams of carbohydrates. This is a really easy system once you get the hang of it. And you can reference this until you become comfortable or you have your, your foods that you know and know the exchanges. But it's a really easy system to be able to go out to eat or go to a family's house and or a wedding, all of these things where you might not be able to break down the food into its components and weigh out each ingredient or know exactly what's in it. But you can say as a general rule, looking at maybe it's a lasagna and being able to pick apart the pasta component, saying it's equivalent to one exchange. And then maybe there's a protein component coming from the sauce with ground meat in it. Um, and then using that to maybe say there's one serving of fat in there. So you can use this system as a way to keep track and also continue to live your life. Our next section is the starchy vegetables here. So again, one exchange just being equivalent to what's on the right hand column. So for example, one cup of canned pumpkin would be 15 grams of carbs, for example. And then fruits similarly. So one exchange also equivalent to 15 grams of carbohydrate one half of a large banana, for example, being equivalent to 15 grams. So if you ate the whole banana, it would be 30 grams, for example. Again, it's just a really straightforward system, especially once you get familiar with it. Our next section coming up here is our non-starchy vegetables. So, these are equivalent to five grams of carbohydrate. We know that one serving of cooked vegetables is a half of a cup, while one cup of raw vegetables is one serving. Lots and lots of options in this category here of those non-starchy vegetables. Next one is our meat and meat substitutes, so proteins. General rule of thumb is about one ounce equivalent to seven grams of protein. A really easy system to use. You can either weigh something out once or even using our hand for scale. So about a deck of cards is equivalent to about four ounces of protein, three to four ounces, or the palm of your hand, for example, 
or using the length of your hand for a serving of fish, for example, could be anywhere between six and eight ounces. So this is, again, a, a really easy system to use and, and get familiar with. Then the next section is our fats, and I just showed the monounsaturated fats portion here. So avocado, two tablespoons being equivalent to five grams of fat. So no carbohydrates in this category um, in the monounsaturated fats. And just giving you that breakdown of how many calories are in five grams of fats. So the monounsaturated sources being that avocado, nut butters, nuts, olive oil, sample, and olives. So how does all of this work? How does it come together? First, what we would do is calculate out your energy needs. And as your coach, taking into consideration what your workout regimen is, what other factors of stress in your life, are you dealing with illness, things that are going to change your calorie needs. So this is something that I'm taking into consideration for all of my clients. I customize your exchanges based on your goals. So if you have physique goals or if we're trying to um, improve your insulin uh, sensitivity, for example, or if we're trying to maintain, or if we're treating you for SIBO, for example, one of our gut health issues. These are all things taking into consideration or disease states, things that I'm going to consider when I'm designing a plan for you. So we'll build that plan and we'll review it together making sure you can be adherent to it. We'll track it, see how you feel, and if we need to make any tweaks or changes. So we get accustomed to this new process. Like I said, there is a bit of a learning curve, just being able to have this sheet to reference. But afterwards, it is so much more sustainable, and again, allows you to go to events and people's houses, etc., out to eat, and still be able to stay on track. The last part being that you will track. So if we just give you a basic number of hitting 10 starches per day, 15 servings of protein example, you're gonna track how well you're doing to the plan that's been given. Here's just a sample day. So um, breaking this down, it's it. We break it into different categories, the starch, veggies, fruits, meat, and fat, and being able to move these around, flexibility and spreading them out throughout the day. So. What I like about this too, again, it's incorporating diversity. We're making sure you're getting veggies in and fruits in so you know how important they are, right? They're fibrous foods, really good for our gut microbiome, and being able to spread them throughout the day is going to really help you to hit those goals too. So it, just an example of what a, a sample day might look like. Here are some examples of individuals, our clients, that have been extremely successful in using exchanges. Again, being able to take that good and bad mentality away from foods and just being able to hit your goals, your physique goals, or healing your gut, healing your hormones, all of those things, and being able to give you a bit more food freedom, improve your relationship to food. It's not always about the number of calories. So with even using exchanges, we can moderate and manipulate those different categories in order to hit your goals. I really hope that you have learned something today. This is a system that I use every single day here at Core Perform. This is an excellent way for you to get involved in our program. I think that this way of tracking, again, allows you to be sustainable, it gives you a system to follow, having your coach as your source of accountability. And I would love to share more about it with you. If you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to contact me. And I hope to see you on our Core Perform page.